Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Now, today's episode is, I know you're thinking, we're in the arena, Kieran. This isn't a mob battle day. You are right, and that isn't technically what we are doing today. Today's video has been suggested numerous times by the same guy, uh, Destroyer999. This one is for you. We are doing the Avarisha armor going up against Jazar the Gatekeeper, or Infinity Armor, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you have suggested this a lot, and I thought I can't make you wait anymore. So this one's for you, mate. Hope you enjoy it. And instead of just doing a straight battle, um, I thought I might as well run you through bits about this mod. Now, the Avarisha mod is so, so long-winded progression-wise. My word, to get the materials needed to craft pretty much anything in this mod takes an abnormal amount of time. I mean, this it says on their wiki that this sort of started as a parody mod sort of like a mickey take for how long things uh, can take to craft in Minecraft and how overpowered this mod is. Now, I will show you some of the crafting recipes today, guys. I'm not going to run you through everything in a mad amount of detail, purely because that will just take forever, really. If you do want more specific information about bits in this mod, I will show you that. So I'm going to run you through quickly a lot of the crafting recipes, the basic ones anyway, and then we'll run. Then I'll run you through how to craft these suits of armors, the different separate bits, and how to get all these neutrons and blah 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 and bits like that. So guys, make whoa, make sure to stick around for the whole episode because you know you don't want to miss any of it. And at the end or towards the end anyway, we will be doing the battling. And we're going to be doing that in three stages as well. So as I said, let's waste no further time. Let's crack on with it. So the compressed crafting table here. And that is what I've got laid out here. Pretty much standard crafting table. Uh, if we go back into here, this is how you make it. Load of crafting tables just like that. It's going to give you the compressed crafting table. You're also able to decraft a double compressed crafting table to get nine compressed crafting tables. So obviously, to craft one of these bad boys, you're going to need nine compressed crafting tables. And uh, yeah, so those are these two basic ones here. You can see the same uh, look right there. And then obviously next up we have the dark crafting table, which is a bit different. It is massive. And this is going to be the crafting table you are going to use to craft all your suits of armor, like some of the mad ingots in this mod, the mad amount of food in this mod. Uh, you're just going to use it to craft all your OP items because it needs this amount of space because it's crazy and extremely expensive to craft. So to make this bad boy, uh, you are going to need, where is it? You're going to need the crystal matrix ingots and then you're going to need the double compressed craft table. So that's why you've got to do those different stages to get up to get a double compressed craft table. The crystal matrix ingot is made as so. You're going to need diamond lattice, latice, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, made just like that. Uh, and you're going to need two never stars per ingot. And how many are there in here? What's that? Eight. So you're going to you're going to need a lot. I'm not going to work that mass out for you. One, because I'm extremely dyslexic and that will take me a while. Um, uh, yeah, but you're going to need a fair, a fair, what's that? What, 16? I feel like I've, I've got that wrong, but yeah, you're going to need about, I'm going to say about 16. So to get the right amount of ingots to create the dire crafting table. And as I said, you're going to use all of the, or you're going to do all your crafting stuff in here, guys. That is it's pretty much it. Like if we take a look at the cosmic meatballs, for example, you need the long length of line. You're going to need piles of neutrons. You're going to need all of these bits to get just the cosmic meatballs. And they're not even the best, guys. They're not even the best, but you still need to get the neutrons. And the neutrons, how you get them, I can hear you wondering. You're going to need a neutron collector. So once you've crafted all that, 
you're gonna need to craft more. Then you're gonna need, what's that, five, six, seven, seven more crystal matrix ingots, guys. You're gonna need a heck of a ton of redstone. You're gonna need a heck of a ton of iron and even more quartz. So, as I'm sure you can already see, the, the amount of materials needed is at, is, a sta is staggering, guys. It is absolutely staggering. You're going to need to be mining for a long time, or you're going to be need to be doing it with mates, like how I do my Never series with my mates. Um, it's just a crazy, crazy amount. And we aren't even up to getting near the suit yet. Nowhere near. We're nowhere near. So, once you've got done one of these bad boys, you're going to place it down, and quite simply, it will collect neutrons. Now, you're, you're seeing nine neutrons there. To get to this, I've been out the house since about one-ish. I, I set this all up. Uh, I left the house, I went to the gym, went for a run, did some chores. And it is now 4.30 as I'm recording this. So, fair few hours to just get nine neutrons. I mean, the best thing to do is craft multiple ones of these, but you're gonna need crazy amounts. I mean, it, it, it's pretty it's pretty insane guys it is honestly pretty insane so and then here we have what is called neutronium compressor and we're going to use this to create the singularities all right so each singularity is crafted like this 400 iron for the iron singularity 200 gold uh 400 lapis uh 500 redstone for that one Quartz 300, uh, oh, not going to tell me the copper, tin, not going to tell me that one, not going to tell me that one, whatever, reason, perfect, I uh, don't know why they're not telling me that one, but just presume they're within the region of two to 400, that is the average for them guys, so that is the best thing to aim for, the endest pearl, made like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys, these things are gonna are a pain. All right, so I feel like we've got to that bit. So you've seen the pile of neutrons that you get from this guy, the neutron collector, and then nine of those are gonna make a neutronium ingot, just like this. And then nine of those bad boys are gonna make a single neutro um sorry nugget. <laughs> nine piles of neutrons are gonna make one neutronium nugget and then nine neutronium nuggets are gonna make one neutronium ingot boom nailed it got there eventually Whew. it is it is long it is long winded so should we start off with the lower grade weapon this is how you make the lowest grade sword in the mod just like this uh Crazy, crazy stuff, guys. Honestly, mental. How? And this isn't even a very good sword. I, to be honest, wouldn't even bother with this sword, guys. It's not worth the effort. Uh, as you can see, where is it? it? I mean, it'd be head skeletons and torches and like, like it. That's just a cool effect. It's not worth it for that. Honestly, it gives you plus seven attack damage. It's not the best. Uh, it, it's it's just slightly cool, really. It's a cool gimmick. If you've got loads of stuff, then yeah, heck, go for it. Um, but you're better off aiming for all these tools first, going for all the tools, and then working your way up to the Sword of the Cosmos. Infinity Attack Damage! Later we will be battling with all these weapons, so we'll be doing the sword, the bow, and then this guy. And this guy is crafted as so. <laughs> it's just absolutely mind-boggling, guys, honestly. So, to craft this, just take in how long the process was to get those nine in uh was it piles and these require so so much more honestly and then obviously the infinity catalysts you need those bad boys and those are made like this so there you go uh i might as well show you just as an example of getting the singularities uh, let's do this so pop this in here you're gonna keep popping it in so it'll tell you so you can just get your stacks of redstone tin copper 
uh, lead or whatever and it's going to tell you when, as soon as you put it in here anyway uh, I'll tell you what we could oh no oh I'd have to go back through now because I've already started the iron yay uh, but yeah that, that shows you how you get the singularity, singularities guys it's so much to this mod as, as I said this is an OP as heck mod and it is not easy to get these items. You are going to be grafting for a long, long time. This is how you make the bow, wool. You can use infinity ingots, obviously like that. You can screenshot these recipes, guys, if you need. Um, but I'd recommend just downloading a recipes mod. That is going to be the easiest thing for you. So to make the planet eater, that's an infinity block right there, which is made from these bad boys, which is done like that. So take it all in, take it all in indeed. It's ridiculous, absolutely mind boggling. Um, yes, yeah, as, as I said guys, pause the video, take screenshots if you really must, uh, but you're better off, honestly, just, um, oh, there's no hoe. There's no hoe, they always leave out the hoes. How dare they? Yeah, you're better, you're better off just downloading the crafting more guys, it's easier. And uh, what else is there to show you? I feel like, I've pretty much, I've shown you that, I've shown you that, yeah, as I said, made like that, that's me, okay, I, I don't think I showed you this one, so, neutronium block, you've got some hoppers here, you've got blocks of iron, you've got crystal matrix ingots, you've got redstone chilling grilling there, obviously, that guy, done like that, yeah, yeah, great, absolutely fantastic, so, now the armour, let's start with the boots. So the boots are made just like this, lovely jubbly. Let's work up to the leggings. The leggings made like this, yet again, gonna take you hours, absolute hours. Then this is how you make the infinity breastplate. Um, yep, and don't worry, we'll be trying all these on, we'll be seeing their abilities, and then this is how you make the helmet. And obviously I've shown you that already. Uh, I've shown you that. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I could show you the ultimate stew. That's probably one of the easier things to do. Uh, pretty, pretty good on the health side. I definitely recommend those bad boys. Uh, but yeah, stuff it. Let's do this thing. So let's get out the suit of armor. Let's get out the weapons. Let's get out this. Let's get out that. I can't remember if you even need arrows for this bow. I can't. I can't quite remember. Uh, We'll do it without because I'm purely interested at this point. So let's change on game mode. And uh, yeah, let's put this stuff on. Uh, there we go. So with all this stuff on, like with the helmet, you no longer have to eat. Your hunger bar will always be full. Uh, you can find all the different information for what the various bits of armor does. But it essentially all together as one piece of armor makes you invincible if a mob does break through the armor it is said that it will only heal you more so if it gets past the armor's defenses you're not going to be taking damage you're going to get boosted and they have infinite durability things like that so it is insane it is mind-blowing so let's see if this does yep I, I thought you wouldn't need uh, arrows. I, I did have, I did have a feeling. I did do a review on this mod quite, a, well, two years ago, I think. So it's been a while. So it's worth bringing it back. Now uh, we might do a few, a few more rounds. Actually, uh, we're going to start off with this sword, and we're going to work our way down uh, to punching Jazar out with our bare hands. So that is going to be the goal. We're going to just gonna punch him out, really. We're going to punch Jazar to death. That is what we're doing today. Uh, but you wanted it. You've requested it multiple times. Purely for the fact of your persistence, we are doing this. So, good bro. Nice one. Like, absolute credit to you. If everyone as persistent as you, they'd all get their own way. Um, Alright, so Jazar is up in here. Just so you can just see... And we all know how powerful this guy is, guys. He can kill you in creative. He can despawn you. He can move you out of creative into survival and kill you. He's currently doing nothing to me because I can do that. Uh, he's obviously going to do his line of, you can't kill the great old one, blah, 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 blah. Bro. Um, yep, yeah, so I'll wait for him to do his little explodey thing. This is obviously the suit of armor. I'll, get, I'll give you a better look in a minute, guys. 
I probably should have done that a second ago. Uh, yeah, do your explodey thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, yep, do it, do it, do it. Explode on me. Um, is I'm I'm still waiting for it, bro. Come on, hit me with that big big old explosion. I need it. I honestly you're really slow today, aren't you? Okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. What the? This is new. Okay, I forgot he did that. I actually forgot. <laughs> he teleports you to the final sort of realm. Um Okay. Okay, okay. I guess we're I guess we're here. Uh, let's go see what's going on over here. Hey bro! Uh it's knocked me back into What? What on earth? Whoa, okay. Because I've got my shader on. Everything mad looking. Okay, uh. Did I not change game mode? Or, like, what the hell happened? What? Like, is anything gonna be able to tap me? I love this. Look at this. Nothing can challenge me. Should we. We'll spawn another. We'll spawn him here again. Uh, let's take a look at my armor. It might look a little funky. And that's purely because I got my shaders on. Um, Alright, let's change back here. Let's do this. Uh, let's get Jazar back up in here. What's up, bro? Okay, yeah. Punch me all you like. Uh, we're going to do it with the bow now. He looks mad weird down in this dimension. Okay, so with the bow, it's pretty mad. I just have to hold down the right mouse button. And that this is what we're doing to the dude. Absolute murkage. He's he's not he's not coming back from this. Come on. Alright, there we go. He's dead again. Boom. Not done no damage to me. I just need this to be appreciated. How little damage he has done to me. So he's giving me all these ingots as well. He's giving it's, it's an alright amount of loot. He's giving us a heck of a ton of XP. Uh yep, yeah, come on, do do more explodey things. Uh, I want to see if it happens again. Whoa, whoa, this, this is... Did it do this last time? I don't feel like it did this last time. Um, Alright, come on, come on. I believe in you. I believe. Okay, it's going to do it. It's going to do it. It's so bright. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 So, that explosion... Almost killed me. That explosion and what this? What did he? Essence of the gate, a mere fragment of desire. You can feel it falls in the power. Okay. Okay. Damn. Damn. Like. Oh yeah, I can fly as well. By the way, I forgot to say that. Uh, oh, flipping heck! Oh, I, I'm baffled by that. That is absolutely stump. Wow. Wow. That. That is. Damn, damn good. Jazar, fair play. Fair play, broski. So, I'm not even going to bother with this sword because it's pretty much the same. Like, you can see the damage here. Alright. Come on, Jazar. Come at me, brethren. Uh, can I punch him out? No, the punching doesn't really even do too much. I was expecting the punches to be a little more. Maybe give me some mad punchy abilities. But no, no, it does not. Uh, stuff it. We're taking him down for last. You know what? Let's take off all. Let's take off that. Let's take off that. Let's take off that. Let's just have the helmet on. And he can kill me with just the helmet. So, flipping it. Where am I? Uh, where am I? Um, damn. Damn, Jazan. Dude, dude, you, you crazy. You're local. Um, alright. I'm, I'm just intrigued now to see if it's just. If he can kill me with just the chest plate. I, I want to know this. I, I need to know this. Uh, right, let's get out. Uh, we'll get this out. And we'll get this out. Alright, so I need to know this. I need Im I need knowledge. Okay, so this is... You can see what the suit should probably look like. Um, Alright. Okay, yet again. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Okay, Okay. flipping. Flipping it, you can. Flip, flop, flip. So, with only a single suit piece of armor, he can kill you pretty pretty quickly, to be fair. Uh, that's actually very surprising how quickly he can kill you. Um, whoa, 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 
whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's, uh, boom. Okay, but one hit from this sword, he's dead. So, he, he can't really withstand the sword, and all you've got to do is pretty much walk away. So, to round today off, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll spawn in a heck of a ton of them. We'll spawn like a stack. We'll spawn, a, we'll spawn this stack in. Why the hell not? Let's do it. You guys feeling excited for it? Let's do it. You've never seen this many Jazar the Gatekeepers. Uh, let's get a bow out as well. Let's get the bow out as well. Uh, no, stop it. Stop dragging me into your nonsense. Uh, we're going to go over here. All right. Should we go to the arena? Let's go in the arena. We love the arena. I love the arena. All right. So there's the carnage from last time. Alrighty, let's do it. Let's get as many Jazars in as possible. Are they killing each other? Okay, we can't actually have more than one Jazar. There can only be one. Okay, fair. flip and fair play, broski. So will you teleport me again to the to the next world? So let's see. So you can't you can't actually punch through with the full suit. But if he did, when he did that explosive, explodey thing, he, he flipping did. All right, so three bits of armor doesn't can't really do any damage, but I can obviously still flipping up him. Boom, 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 boom. Take an arrow, arrow to the face, arrow to the face. Yeah. So three bits. What about two bits of armor? Wait, what? Wait, did he? Oh, okay. I thought he just took my helmet off. Okay, flip. Did he? Did did he take my helmet off? Did you just nicked that on my invent. Okay, so with two bits of armor, you're, you're pretty stuffed. Um, but full armor, you're good. You're chilling. You're grilling. You're loving life. This is me. Full suit. And as you saw, Jazar really didn't stand a chance. To be honest, if I'm hitting him with that sword, he, he's not having a chance. Oh, I'm see-through. That's lovely. Um, but yeah, there you go. I really hope you enjoyed it today. Destroy 999. This one was for you. I hope everyone else got lots of information out of this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys have any other suit mods you want me to use in a sort of similar premise, I do like a mod showcase on it and then I fight something. Uh, yeah, screw it. We'll do that. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, see ya.